I'm going to try something new here and I'm going to take you fabric shopping with me. Charlie and I are heading to Pensacola. We're going to hit up Amy Fabric. We're going to go to Joe Patty's, pick up some fish, have a little lunch, and maybe if he can hold out, we'll hit Joanne's as well. I'm looking forward to bringing you along with me as I fabric shop and we'll see how it goes. I have not done a lot of filming in public spaces unless you count my front porch where I sometimes have neighbors wave to me as they walk by. So we'll see how comfortable I am filming in the wild, but come along with me and let's go fabric shopping. Here we are at Amy Fabrics. Let's go inside. Let's see how brave I am about holding a camera. Okay, I'm trying to be respectful of others who are shopping. I wanted to give you a, a scope of how large the store is. It just goes on and on and on. And yes, I am whispering. <laughs> I'm going to be taking a close look at this table. Okay, I'm searching through these bins. This looks interesting. It does not have a price, so let's see how much that is. It feels like polyester, but it's nice and light. Also, super slippery. Got some embroidery on glaze here. And here, again, so much to choose from. Charlie is over there looking for some rainbow fabric, preferably rainbow fabric with dogs that a five-year-old boy would like. So much to look at. All right, I'm at the very back, so I'm not as shy about bringing this out. This is the Royal Blue Dobby that I bought to make my sagebrush top. And I already have the red. I think the white is too sheer, but my dilemma is I keep looking at pattern fabrics and saying, oh, this would make a cute shirt or top, and I'm supposed to be looking for solids. So, do you see any solids in my cart? No. Charlie did find a couple of rainbows. This is a flannel for our oldest grandson. His favorite color is rainbow. And then one that Charlie liked and I don't know, I'll make something out of that. All right, so carry on looking and to see what I can find. There's some gorgeous cotton linen blends, but this is not what I'm shopping for today. I'm going to give you a quick shot of the back room. You've got flannels and some um, shirting fabric. Here's kind of a miscellaneous. Lots of fabrics for Mardi Gras, which is really big in this area of the country. Sorry, don't want to make you dizzy and a surprising amount of swim fabric. I bought a couple of swim fabrics here. I've yet to try them. And some pinwheel fine cord. As you can see, I have added more 
to my cart and putting on some Oxford fabric. And I'm going to make one more pass and then go meet Charlie at the front. He has shown amazing patience. And I think because he was on a mission for fabric for grandchildren, that helped. Hi, we, we are back. We're back from Pensacola. And tell me, what did you think of Amy Fabric? I was a little bashful when I went in there and maybe I'll get braver as I go on and make more videos. I will also be replacing some of my equipment. I've noticed listening back to my last two videos that there's clicking from my microphone and some very annoying breathy sounds and I apologize for that. I need to get a new microphone. This one apparently is broken so I need to see what I can do about that. But back to fabric. I got quite a few things at a &E Fabric. I got some chambres. I got some material to make skirts. I got some rainbow fabric for my grandson whose favorite color is rainbow. He had requested rainbow dog fabric, which we did look for. I should say Charlie looked for. And he actually found some rainbow cat fabric so maybe it's out there somewhere maybe it's out there but i think he'll be very happy with the rainbow fabric we picked out um, after we went to a and e we went to joe patty's which is a great seafood place in pensacola great place to buy seafood the restaurant has closed down it looks like they had some storm damage it's been a while since we've been shopping in pensacola so we went to the deli section and got some seafood salad and went sat in a park or i should say we walked out to the park the table was hot as all get out in the bright sun so we went back and we ate our seafood salad in the car still kind of romantic or maybe romantic or it was convenient <laughs> So anyway, after, after we did our fish shopping, we actually had enough gas in the tank to go to Joann's. So at Joann's, I did a really quick in and out. I got some fabric for my goddaughter's tote bag. That was what her text came in. The last time I was filming, I got a text while I was filming that my goddaughter um, was trying to get in touch with me and she, she did have a sewing project. She wants me to make a bag for her. So she had some specific ideas, but it's going to leave some of it up to me. So I'll be making her a nice bag. Uh, so I got that fabric. I got some fabric for um, the spacesuit project, uh, our middle grandson for his birthday. And the next, I think I've got about a month and a half to create a flight suit. He wants to be an astronaut. So of course I'm going to make him a flight suit and Ali said if I could make a jet pack that would be even better. So I got some ironing board cover fabric and I'm going to figure out how to make a jet pack to go along with a jumpsuit. Anyway, I'll be showing you and taking you along with me on that little project. I know Charlie had mentioned I could buy an astronaut outfit, but why buy one when you can spend three times as much money and make one yourself, right? But in all honesty, I know that if I make it, it's going to be more rugged. And our grandson loves to play dress up and he's in and out and in and out of these clothes. so. I think if I make him something, it's going to last a whole lot longer than if I were to buy one. So that's what's going on here. We had a very big day shopping. I think we left the house um, 
around 10 a.m. and we got home at 4 p.m. So it was a big day. Thanks for coming along on the ride with me today. If you liked the video, please give it a like. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I'll be producing more content on sewing, doing some tutorials, and I've got a fabric haul coming up. So I'll see you later. Bye.